What's up guys, in today's Gem Pages tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed so that you guys will know how to create good looking and most importantly converting landing pages, product pages, home pages using Gem Pages. Now to get started, simply just head over to the Gem Pages landing page builder app. Now I will actually leave you a link down below and if you are going to use that link, you are going to support me for completely free, so make sure to use that link if you want to. Either way, right here, make sure to just install this app onto your Shopify store. You can just do this within a few clicks. And as you can see, now this should actually be added. Now with gem pages, you are going to have a lot of different options when it comes to creating pages and let's actually go over them. So let's just get started by creating a new page. Now, the thing that I personally like about gem pages is that they are going to give you quite a lot of different templates by default. Now, when it comes to the pricing of gem pages, this also is pretty affordable. And as you can see right here, they do have a completely free forever plan with one published page. You can also set global styles with this. However, obviously the plan that I would actually recommend you to go for would be the build plan. As with this one, you can actually create unlimited published pages. And I think this is just the best way of creating a good looking branded Shopify store. But obviously if you for example only want to create a certain product page with gem pages, you can actually also go for the free plan. So let's now actually head back to pages and I'm then going to create a new page. So right here, once again, you are going to have lots of different templates and you are going to have templates for basically all sorts of different page styles which you could dream of like about page, seasonal page, subscription page, contact page, blog post, editorial and so on. Now as for this video I'm just quickly going to build up a product page. So as you can see right here you are then going to see all of the different options which are you which you are basically going to have by default. So you can then actually also view each of these pages to basically get a better overview on what kind of product and what kind of product page you should actually go for. Now this is also going to be highly dependent on what kind of niche you are in and what kind of product you are selling. For, the, for example this is a more gamer type landing page or product page in this case. This baby toy section, let's actually look this, uh, obviously is more tailored for toys kids and so on. In this case, I guess I'm just going to, oh, as you can see right here, they actually also do have a new page template, which I guess I haven't seen before. So let's actually go with this one. I, I think this one does look pretty good. So I'm just going to select this template. And now, so as you can see, this is now going to open up the gem pages page builder. Now, basically, this is going to be a drag and drop editor, like you are probably used to from other page builders like Squarespace and Wix. And you can actually, this is pretty intuitive. You can actually select all of the different elements and you can then actually also change them accordingly. So if you would, for example, want to change the uh, product that is going to be shown right here, we could do so by simply just heading over to the product element and right here we can then actually choose um, what kind of diff basically what kind of product we do want to sell. Now as you can see this right now would be an overview and right here we are then going to have an other section showing all of the different data points and so on and basically this right here just would be a great way of actually displaying your product. However if you would for example want to change this thing right here you could do so by first of all changing up the title and if you would want to change the image you can actually also do this by simply just selecting it and then you can browse the gallery and right here you are then actually going to see all of the images that you have uploaded. Additionally you can also change these icons right here once again through the browse basically once again through the gallery and then we are actually also going to have the option to customize this section right here. But let me actually show you how to add new sections. This is also super easy. Now we are basically going to have two options. First of all, we can just start from scratch by creating a new row. And inside these rows, we can then actually add certain kind of elements. So let's actually make it a double row. And let's now, for example, add an image onto the left. So wait, we will actually have to select this. Um, so let's now actually add an image onto the left. And now this is just going to be an example image and we can then actually also customize this by for example adding a heading onto the right. Obviously you would have to then customize this with the perfect text for you. We can then actually also add, a, let's for example add a text block onto this kind of as a subheading, something like this. 
And to actually make the text centered out here, we would have to actually select the parent layer, in this case the row element, and then we will have to change the alignment to center right here. Now let's for example say that we are also going to add a button onto this, and now this for example would be a perfect section displaying an other product onto your on your product page essentially, or this also would be a great way of displaying a certain kind of pain point of your product. Now, additionally, you can actually also add full on hero banner sections onto your Shopify store within a few clicks. And actually, if you do want to add pre made things onto your Shopify store, you can do so by simply just selecting sections right here. And then you are going to see all of the different hero section options. As you can see, they really are going to have a lot for these. Then you are also going to see the product detail option right here. So if you don't really like how the product is uh, displayed right here, all you would have to do is select the product section right here then simply just delete the element and now we can add a new product section so let's for example go for this one i'm just going to drag this onto the top and now this would get updated now uh, i actually think that the first one was a little bit better either way you get my point additionally under the sections you can actually also find trust badges guarantee badges and also all sorts of different other stuff i personally really like this product breakdown feature right here and this is just a great way of actually displaying all of the different features and paying points of your product so this is something which you actually can add onto your product page then you can actually also use how how to use sections testimonials so actually jam page is also going to integrate with tools like judge.me or looks and actually if you do want to display customer reviews you can just connect these two tools and you're then going to have the option to do so additionally they also do have a compare option right here so this for example could be a table displaying all of the different features that your product has and that your competitors don't have or you could for example also add different kind of image sliders so this actually now got added, I guess, to the bottom. As you can see right here, this also is a great way of actually displaying your product and displaying the up, basically the upsides of your product. However, um, this actually most of the time only is going to work for beauty products. They also do have uh, tons of other sections, which I can I can't go over all of them right now. However, basically with gem pages, you are going to get a really intuitive kind of way of building up good looking Shopify pages. And I personally prefer this over Shopify because with gem pages you are going to have a more customized feel and basically your customers aren't going to instantly see that your shop is made of Shopify which also is a good thing sometimes now then you can actually also set the global styles for your whole site so if you are going to change things right here these are then automatically going to be updated all across your page so let's for example confirm this right here and now this should actually be updated Either way, you can set the default styles like color, typography, spacing and so on for your website right here. And then you can actually also add different kind of templates. Now, I already have shown you this in the section thing. So basically, this is just going to give you another option of adding new section templates. Um, now, this is once again just going to give you an overview of all of the different uh, section templates which they do have available. As you can see, over 375 templates are available which is a which is very good actually and then you can actually also use this image to layout feature so using this you can just basically paste in a url or you can just upload an image of your dream store and then gem pages is going to automatically rebuild that inside shopify which also is a great feature so you can actually use this to create for example designs in figma and you can then convert your figma designs onto shopify using this feature so let's now actually save this. And if we're now going to opt out of this, as you can see, we are going to see our newly created page under pages right here. Now, actually to now make gem pages visible, we will have to head over to online store, then to customize right here. Then head over to App Embeds and make sure that Gem Pages right here has been turned on. By default, it isn't turned on, so make sure to turn it on and then save your store. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you do want to sign up to Gem Pages, use the link down below to support me for completely free.